everyone, we're back with another oh. tutorial video. About to, about to drop this new album, man. <laughs> hey, Connor, what are we doing this time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why are we in a room made of iron? To, to collect it. Collect it. By being lazy. How are we gonna? Yeah, we're gonna be lazy. Oh, wrong button. All the wrong buttons. Uh, it's F5. Ah. All right. Well, we're gonna make today is an automated, aut automated laser miner. Laser yeah. miner, basically. All right. First. Yes, fire is worthless. First, what you gotta do is you gotta have 16 coercion derivers, four fortron capacitors, a force field projector, a chest, some sort of power supply. I prefer using a buttload of fully charged ultimate cubes so I don't have to build my own power supply. Some universal cables, a bunch of scale modules, and speed modules. Uh, I already said a chest. You're gonna need a disintegration module, you need a collection module gonna need cube mode or whatever mode you want cube modes most efficient if you ask me and gonna probably gonna need a fist alright let's get started a fist? a fist yeah well something pushy. to mine with yeah pushy alright first you're just gonna wanna set up your power system oh. I prefer to just Fancy. yeah I prefer to just uh... put a whole bunch of these expensive guys all around here Oh. I just told this private first class to use the antimatter. <laughs> all right. Then once those are up, you're gonna wanna connect them all. Can I send Make them sure an explosive? you uh, don't send them something basic. Make sure you uh, put your universal cables in these little ports because that's the only place energy comes out. Energy goes in everywhere else. All right. Then you're gonna wanna grab your coercion derivers. Make sure your rooms. Five by five by five. I'm gonna set them incendiary. That way you can. That way you can do this. Did I build my room too big? No, I built my room perfect. See, you guys, I know what I'm doing. All right, then you're gonna want to place your fortron capacitors all up and around here. Put them everywhere. Get a force field projector. Hey, Connor, go grab us a fre frequency card out of the me. Uh, okay. All right. Once this is set up. All you're gonna need to do is uh, set the frequency, which we'll do later. For now, we'll start setting this up. You're gonna want to put a collection module in there. I want to put a disintegration module in there. Uh, what else are you gonna want to do? You're gonna want some speed modules in this thing. So, speed, speed, speed. Doesn't matter which one, right? Speed. Uh, any one of them, as long as it says a number on it that's not zero. Zero ones for a special use. All right, so once all these are full of their speed modules, they're ready to go. This you're gonna need to uh, put some scale modules in there. First, put your cube mode, and then you're gonna want at least put two layers of these things. And heck, while you're there, just grab some more. Grab another stack of speed modules. You're just gonna want to put down a lot of these. These are going to increase the range of where you mine. Uh, it's not really, you don't really need to get it exact, just something you can actually have the capability of powering. You might as well get a wrench while you're there. Okay. I just want to grab all the extras, just, just so I don't have to take extra time. Alright, there we go. Six should do for just now. Alright, and as soon as he gets here, we'll start with the next step. Speed modules? Yeah, speed modules, frequency cards, and a wrench. How many frequency cards? Just one frequency card. The frequency card, you guys are gonna... Oh, I gotta wait for him. Ultimate cubes, all jam-packed full of energy. I brought a lot of ultimate energy cubes, but honestly, you can power a large area with just like two or three of these things. I just brought extra power to show off, you know. You're going to want to put your chest on top of the force field projector. You're going to want to mm -hmm. have your little buddy throw your items to you. I I don't hear. Just put him in the I, chest. Yeah. It's acting like I'm shift clicking. That's weird. Everything is a shift click. All right. You're going to what is the frequency on this? Frequency 1. All right, you just want to shift click. Want to shift click all these. Shift right click that is. And what this is doing, this is setting the frequency on these. So they're all going to have a shared frequency. Oh. You want to make sure you don't 
uh, shift click a block that is not uh, from the MFFS mod which is the modular force field systems mod because if you do it'll generate, oh see I did it again it's going to generate a random number and then you're going to have to start all over again alright, and smack all these I click something and it acts these. like I'm shifting smack all these you're just going to really want to just smack everything you own all right. except for your children except for your children, no child abuse, not allowed not my, not my channel Alright, throw the speed modules in there, that'll just speed oh, that up. Channel. You're a channel. Stop blowing stuff up! Ah! 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 <laughs> what is that? Ah! <laughs> ah! Alright, everything's set to five. Hey Connor, help me turn these on. Just turn them on, you're just gonna wanna open it up by right clicking and turn on this little redstone torch. You can use an actual redstone torch, but we live in the 21st century, we don't need vanilla items. The frequency is five, right? Yeah, frequency is supposed to be five on everything. I accidentally messed up a couple times. All right, first you're gonna want to turn on your coercion drivers because these are gonna derive means it's gonna derive energy from your cubes, so that's gonna go straight into there. And then, all right, or you can use integrate mode, which takes the energy out of all your systems and puts them back in the battery. Once these are all powered up, you're gonna start on your Fortron capacitors. Turn those on. What these do is these take the energy made by the. Ah, I can't spell. There we go. Oh, the wrong guy. Welcome. Nice. Welcome, Kyle. Kyle, there you go. Oh, because he left the game. All right, here we go. These are gonna store the energy. So many... What is going on right now? It's it's working. Oh yeah, it's, it's crashing a lot. This is going to store the energy made by the coercion derivers. As you can see, it's leaking energy out of these pretty fast, so let's get started. Then you're going to use this, turn that right on, and shove your disintegration module in there. It's already in there. Oh wow. Alright, and what this is going to do, it's going to mine the iron and whatever else is near you, and it's going to deposit it in this chest. Let me just dig a hole. It yeah, it's oh, doing wow. it. It's uh, the more speed draw modules you have, the faster it'll go, but it'll also take more time. So as you can see, this is actually taking up too much energy, so I'm going to slow down the speed on that. Actually, Yeah. Unless, you can just add more speed modules, but uh, Connor, just go grab a another couple stacks. And as always, you show proof of uh, subscription, and we will help you build one of these. These are really helpful if you want to mine a large area with a little amount of time. You can mine pretty much an infinite, I wouldn't say an infinite, but you can mine multiple chunks at once with one of these machines if you build them right. Are we going to, you know, do the usual? Do the, we are going to do the usual, but not right now. We're about eight minutes into the video, I think. All right, as you can see, it is just taking blocks. It is wrecking this thing. Uh, slash universe or slash warp universe is uh, where we are right now on the accretion server. All right, you got speed modules, right? Cause yeah. we're just gonna sap these dry. We can fill them at home. All right, throw them down, babe. This is Connor. Connor is Bay. All right, we can. Okay, it seems to be fixed. All right, in this case, we can throw that in there. Oh, we don't want two of those. All right. Oh God. All right. We're just literally gonna drain these things dry. Drain them dry. Yeah. Pretty much the energy is gonna be spent either way. We might as well just speed up the process, you know? Yeah. I take all the blue wool out. Uh yeah, you can take all the blue out, whatever. Alright, we'll whatever. Here whatever. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, this is already put the iron back. I wanna show how much iron we get at the end of the video. Don't worry about how much blue wool it's getting. We can take that out later. As you can see, at this, it's it's chugging along. It's losing a bit of energy, gaining a bit of energy. I don't know. Our energy cubes are going down, but it doesn't matter. They'll last. Isn't this a full-size planet? This is basically the largest size planet there is. So this is going to be a few thousand gold ore. Iron ore. <laughs> Iron ore. This is... Yeah. 
Um, it has a diameter of 38 blocks. So yeah, it's pretty big. It's gonna. Uh, I don't. I don't math often, so I wouldn't be able to tell you the volume of an object of a sphere. Well, you need the height. Also. I don't. The, the height is gonna be the same exact thing. If it's I'm really at. The same exact thing. Which which? All right. If I'm at 230, and the bottom is. Whoop, jet back on. And the bottom's at. Uh, 191. That's actually 40. All right. Still, nonetheless, quite a large thing. It's not really a sphere as much as it is a elliptical. Elliptic. Eh, it's a. It's a. It's close enough. Do you, do you I, don't do I don't even English. I don't even English. Alright, so we're just going to leave this sitting here for a little while. We're probably just... Ooh, look at this. We're getting... We need wool, too, so this is very helpful. So, as you can see, if you guys play on accretion, which is, let me just remind you, volts.accretion.us, you guys play on that server, you want some items, let us know. Show proof that you're a subscriber, and we will give you not everything you want, but we'll help you get set up. Whether you're starting as a new player or you're already rich and you just want more items, we'll help you out. I can't show you my me system right now because my base gives me five FPS, but as you can see, we're we're just describe it to them. decently well off. We have hundreds of turbine reactors, an automated fission reactor, as we showed you in our last video. We have an automated yeah, we have 15k stone like. 1k iron blocks. Uh, 18k, 18k. Uh, 18k. So I don't know. It doesn't matter. We like 2k brag, blaze rods. Brag right. You brag right. An automated uh, mob killing room and all that good jazz. You know, we we're well good off, jazz. so we're we'd be very happy to help anybody. Good jazz. And as you can see, in the short amount of time we've been recording, 12 minutes, which took five minutes to get started up, we've already accumulated about a full chest of iron and plenty of freaking wool. We're gonna get so much wool. Alright, uh, Connor, would you like to prepare an explosive? Oh, sure. He's gonna yeah, go get us a new explosive. Do we have any new ones? Uh, I mean... Use a chemical. Grab a chemical. Okay. I actually haven't seen that with my own eyes yet. Alright. We're gonna use a chemical explosive, guys, so... It'll be right there in just a second. For now, look at the speed. Alright, let's see if we can count it. That's at 53. Just went to 63. Oh, we're we're getting tons of stuff. Is is what I'm trying to say. My inventory is all already full of wool. And these are barely even sapped. We could honestly, if you had more coercion drivers, these thing coercion drivers, fortron capacitors, and you can just use one force field projector. You can probably start mining those blocks all the way over there and all that if you really wanted to. That's what I love about this server. It has this, uh, it has this warp universe. All right, you got the explosive. Got a redstone torch. Uh, just TP to me. Oh, I think I'm timing out. Nice. One second. It's freaking working, why? My our thing stopped mining. What are you doing? Oh wow. Alright guys, what I just noticed is that this force field projector it will only mine at this six by six by six level. So let me take down cube mode for a second. And Perfect. Five by five by five by five. Put cube mode back in, and it will get back to work mining. Bada boom, bada bing. Tons of supplies. You ready? And we are ready for our explosive. Gonna be dangerous. Slash TP accept. 
All right, you still have your home set on this iron world, right? Yeah. All right, good. Okay, ready? All right. Chemical explosive. What what does this do exactly? Uh, chemical things. All right, it's emitting a very deadly gas. I'm not getting affected not by very, it. Not very deadly. Oh. Well. Huh. Chemical explosive. I guess it's supposed to do something. It didn't though. All right. As you can see, you can get tons of. Uh, no, I, I turned turn, turned up. Took my helmet off and it didn't work. All right. Well, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out bolts.accretion.us if you want to play with us or get free items. Uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Trying to do uh, different explosives. Oh, it's an incendiary. Incendiary. Wait.